and timberland. And just like the wife of old Abraham of Bible days and little Isaac small, but some of the men didn't like her at all. Old timers had never heard of a woman going around preaching the word. But Sister Sarah, she didn't say a thing. She just kept on preaching and she liked to sing. Not my will, but thine be done. Lead me in the footsteps of thy son and let me know what you want me to do. And I will follow, I'll follow you. Well, <clears throat> they decided to put Sister Sarah to a trial. So the preachers wrote in for many mild to ask her questions. But they found she knew the King James Version through and through. And then they asked her to preach, all set to scorn. And from early evening to early morn, they wanted to stop her, but they couldn't try, because none of them's eyes was very dry. And when she picked up the guitar that she brought along, every heart wept as she sang her song. Not my will, but thine be done. Lead me in the footsteps of thy son, and let me know what you want me to do. I will follow, I'll follow you. on heaven and hell with a voice just as clear as the church house bell. Strong and warm like an old friend she made living right seem better than sin. An old man stopped her outside the door and said, Sister, I feel like we've met before. And she said, Well, you might have known my daddy way back. His name was the Reverend Mr. Black. And he had to Walk that lonesome valley, and I've got to walk that valley too. Oh Lord, just let me know what you want me to do, and I will follow. I'll follow you. Yeah. To look at. No, 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 no. He rode easy in the saddle. He was tall and lean. And first she thought nothing but a streak of mean could make a man so darn right strong. But one look in his eyes, and you know you was wrong. He was a mountain man. And I want you to know that he could preach hot hell from freezing snow. He carried a Bible and a canvas sack, and the folks just called him the Reverend. Mr. Black. He was poor as a beggar, but he rode like a king. And sometimes in the evening, you could hear him sing. I got to walk that lonesome valley. I've got to walk it all by myself. Ain't nobody else gonna walk it for me. I got to walk that lonely valley by myself. Listen, if ever I'd have thought that man in black was soft or had any yellow off his back, I gave that notion up the day a lumberjack walked in. And it was not to pray. He kicked open that meat house door and he cussed everybody up and down the floor. And then when things got quiet in the place, he walked up and cussed right in the preacher's face. Why, he hit that preacher like the kick of a mule. And to my way of thinking, it took a pure fool to turn the other cheek to that lumberjack, but that's what he did. The Reverend, Mr. Black, he just stood like a rock, a man among men, and he let that lumberjack hit him again. And then with words, as kind as can be, he cut him down like a big oak tree when he said, you've got to walk that lonesome. 
got to walk it by yourself. Ain't nobody else can walk it for you. You got to walk that lonesome valley by yourself. Well, it's been many years since we had to part. And I guess I've learned his ways by heart. I can still hear his sermons ring down in the valley where he used to sing. I followed that man, and I don't regret it. And I hope we'll always be a credit to his memory, because I want you to understand the Reverend Mr. Black was my old man, and I got to walk that lonesome valley. I got to walk walk it for me. I got to walk that lonesome valley by myself. I want to pick you And you got to walk that lonesome valley. You got to walk it by yourself. Ain't nobody else gonna walk it for you. You got to walk that lonesome valley by yourself. And he had to walk that lonesome valley by himself, and I got to walk that lonesome valley all by myself, all by myself, all by myself, all by myself. Yeah, yeah baby. Awesome, mommy. <laughs>